Ralph Mann, Mann's Outdoors. Uh, we're working on the garden quite a bit, and uh, we had a freeze last night, got down to uh, 26 degrees, so we covered up what we already had planted. Uh, everything came through that fine, and now we're trying to uh, get a jump on it. It's a pretty day today. It's cold. It's in the upper 40s right now with a good breeze, but hey, it's Spring is coming. As a matter of fact, today is the first day of spring, March 19th, when I'm filming this. Uh, it'll be coming out a little bit later, but uh, it's first day of spring. It's not our last fr uh, frost date, though, so we're getting as much done as we can. This garden bed is horrendous. We let this bed go for two years, and it grew trees in the middle of it. I pulled out all of that and all of this and uh, we're gonna have to replace this board right down here it's bowed all the way out you can see well you can't put you can see that the 4x4 is rotted out we're also going to replace this one this 4x4 is completely gone so I'm gonna have to put in some new stakes some a new side here and a new side there i think we can get away with keeping that for one more year this one's looking pretty bad but uh i don't typically till but this is all gonna have to be tilled up that's hard as a rock so let's see what we can do to make it better first time to fire up the tiller in two years so let's see what happens after breaking a sweat out here in the 50 degrees we actually have something that you might could plan in. This was neglected for two years, but uh, we need all our beds this year. Got her all tilled up. I'll smooth it out, and then we'll add some compost and our homemade uh, potting mix on top of here right before we plant. Time to replace our rotted post and replace this and this side or the end and this side and we'll get on it next ralph mann man's outdoors we've got her tilled up now it's time to replace the edges of it and uh, then we'll be ready for spring we've got new two buys uh down in the the corners i actually cut angles so that it would uh, I could hammer it down into the ground. We've done another video about doing that, and I'll link that in the description below. This is cedar siding, uh, another post here, more cedar down this side uh, with a post in the middle because these are cedar fence pickets, and they're only six foot, but the bed is 12. There's the other post. This is now ready. This bed is now ready to add our homemade uh, potting mix, and then we'll be ready to plant. Ralph Mann, Mann's Outdoors. If you found anything helpful, be sure and give us a thumbs up. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You know what to do. Till next time, God bless.